Now from WD, this is CBS 47 Action News at 11. Local coverage you can count on. The student involved in a violent confrontation with a school resource officer is speaking out for the first time about what happened. Thanks for joining us on CBS 47 Action News at 11. Good evening. I'm Letitia Barriola in for Tanika Hughes. And I'm John Bachman. Action News broke the story at 5 o'clock after a family told us that girl was forced off of her bus. Action News' Catherine Barnum is live on the South Bank. Catherine, the school district is now investigating after we took this video to them. And John, when everything happened on Tuesday, the students pulled out their cell phones and started recording on it. Meanwhile, this teenager's mother was on the phone listening the entire time. He was bending my head to the window. Nakia Thomas is an eighth grader at Mandarin Middle. She's a student in this video obtained only by Action News. She says she went to get on the bus Tuesday afternoon, but was told by the driver she couldn't ride the bus because it wasn't her assigned bus. But she and her mother disagree, and her mother told her not to get off. My mom was like, stay on that bus because this is your assigned bus. Thomas tells me after several minutes, the bus driver called this Duval County Public Schools officer. So he was like, come on, get off the bus. He was at not nice at first. But then she says things escalated. And I'm like thinking in my head, like, you have no right to put your hands on me. I didn't touch you, so you don't touch me. Action News showed the video to Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti. I think you see a couple things play out in the video. Uh, you obviously see some disrespect um, being perpetuated by the student. So there's a level of um, uh, defiance that the student is portraying. The question is, did the, did the office go too far to bring the student's behavior down? The school district tells us the school should have been able to figure out if Thomas was supposed to ride the bus. Dr. Vitti says what happened before and after this video will be key to the investigation. Obviously, the video speaks for itself in some regards, but there's always those mitigating factors that may have not been picked up by the video. We have also reached out to Bernie Bus Services multiple times today to see and get their side of the story, see if there was another way or reason that Thomas shouldn't have been on that bus. So far, we have not heard back from them. We're live on the South Bank tonight. I'm Gavin Varnum, CBS 47 Action News Jack. 